Hello everybody, this is Carlos Aponte Jr. with this week's Make It Happen video newsletter. This newsletter is designed to teach you, train you, and inspire you to go out and make it happen with your network marketing business. If you haven't subscribed to this newsletter, what are you waiting for? You can subscribe. It's absolutely free. Just visit carlosapontejr.com. Today I want to talk about how to set attainable goals for your network marketing business. A lot of people join this business and they set unrealistic goals and they fail. And within 90 days, they are gone. They are gone. I'm here to show you how to set some realistic goals so that you can become financially independent in your network marketing business. Small goals. When you first get involved, and let me ask you a question before we go ahead and, and begin here. A lot of people work 10, 15 years, they work 40 plus hours a week, they make uh, on average uh, 20, uh, $2,000 or $2,500 on, of gross salary. Then they get involved in this industry and they want to make $10,000 after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, even 12 months. Is that realistic? No, it's not. Could it happen? Of course it can. Of course it can. I'm not telling you not to dream big, but be realistic. If it took you 10 or 15 years to get to your current income goal and you want to make $10,000 a month, the first thing you need to do is become a $10,000 a month person first. Now, can Donald Trump join your company and make a million dollars in his first 12 months? Of course he can. Here's why. He has money. He has credibility. He has, he's business savvy. He has a huge circle of influence and he has major, major credibility when it comes to business. Now, let's be realistic here. Here are uh, some goals that you should consider writing down and putting together an action plan for when you first get started. This is what I did when I first got started. My first goal was to recoup my financial investment. So if it costs you three to four hundred dollars to get started in your home based business, that should be your first goal to recoup it. That way you're working on profit right after. You should recoup your investment within 30 days. That should be your first goal. Your second goal should be to advance to the first leadership position or the first leadership pin level or rank in your company. The third goal should be to make an additional five hundred dollars a month. Why did I put down $500 a month? The average salary is about $24,000 in the United States. People are working 40 plus hours a week to make an additional, I mean to make $24,000 gross a year. That's before tax. So an extra $500 a month that you can bring home, that's like you getting paid an additional week for free. That's like you receiving 40 hours of pay without showing up you're getting paid for four weeks every single month an extra five hundred dollars it's like you getting paid for five weeks five hundred dollars can make a huge difference in your life you can take five hundred dollars and invest it and start an investment program invest it in mutual funds into some good securities and within 15 years you'll be financially independent and it didn't have to come out of your salary. It came out of your business. You can use an additional $500 a month to pay off your mortgage sooner. Just add it to the principal when you make your monthly payments. You can use an additional $500 to pay off all of your credit cards. To have some room every single month to breathe. $500 can make a major difference in your life. In your life. The, the next goal should be for you to replace your weekly salary or your monthly salary. Whatever you're working 40 hours a week for, and if you can replace it from the comfort of your home, wow. So if you're making $3,000 a month and within a year you can replace that from your home, you're going big places. You'll be stress-free. You won't have to commute. You can spend more time with your family. You have total freedom to do what you want, when you want. You didn't have to make $10,000 a month to do that. All you have to do is replace 
your current income. These are some small attainable goals that each and every one of you who are listening to this video right now could accomplish. Some will accomplish it sooner. Some could get to $10,000 a month. I'm not saying you cannot do it within 12 months. You could, but you must take action. Small goals plus action equals big MLM success. Here is a list of things that you should be doing on a daily basis and weekly basis. Prospect one hour a day. Invite five people to review your website. Show the plan daily. Do one in-home per week or one webinar per week if you're building this over the internet utilizing Web 2.0 technology. And guys, if you're part-time, and working 10 hours a week, you can do each and every one of these things on a daily basis. You can do this two hours a day, five days a week. That's 10 hours right there. And you can become financially independent. Forget about the hype and the rah-rah that you see on the internet and on these ads of making 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month. Forget about the hype when you go to these opportunity meetings and you see a guy get on stage and tells you he made 30, $40,000 a month after 60 days. What they forget to tell you is that they've been in this industry for years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, sometimes even 25 and 30 years. So they got experience, they got credibility, they have downlines, they have databases, they have credibility and they know how to do a presentation and recruit a huge group of people. When you're first starting out, you need to learn. You need to educate yourself as much as you can. Find a mentor and become the leader that people are looking for. Deserve success. The only way to deserve success in this industry is to play the game. Show the plan. Be consistent. And you will become the leader that other leaders are looking for. Let's make it happen. This is Carlos Aponte. Have an awesome and prosperous week.